All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going pawn shopping for golf clubs. It might sound weird, but we have found some crazy stuff in the uh, past, so excited to see what we can find today. We're starting things off with one of our favorite pawn shops, yeah. the uh, Godfather Pawn. They always have uh, good stuff, but never know what you're gonna find, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Looks like they got a bunch of clubs. Usually they have the good ones up front. Let's see if there's anything good back here. Got a Titleist 907D2. Callaway X20, they always have good stuff. Mm -hmm. Got the uh, lefty uh, Nike Vapor that's still in here. They've had that for a while. I might be able to get a good deal on that. Got some uh, Callaway Big Berthas over here, X Hot Wood set, Tommy Armor 845s. Mm -hmm. Don't see any prices on them. Usually they have big stickers. It might kind of be per, per bag. set, per bet. Yeah, let's see. We got 599 on this one with the X20s. It's a little high. Seems like Big Berthas behind it? Yeah, Big Berthas. Going for $2.99. That's not a terrible deal if it comes with everything in that bag. And they're usually pretty good at working on prices too. $59 for a Callaway uh, cart bag. This old school, how did I miss that? <laughs> old school ping bag with some uh, Hogan Forge Edge uh, in there. Get a bunch of uh, random loose woods up here too. Get a, what is this one? Callaway XR Speed. How much is that going for? Teamwork. Uh, 159 yeah. eh, that's not the best price. Looks like there's a burner. Yeah, there's a couple of burners up there. Burners super fast. Older Callaways. It's kind of hard to uh, see those ones, but we'll let you know if we end up picking up anything. And I like this ball retriever, though. That's oh, most yeah. Important. Most important club in the bag. It's free. It's free? Yep. We'll have that thrown in <laughs> if we get anything. <laughs> oh, we get some Callaway uh, Junior Clubs here. We always okay. give those away when we're at uh, the flea market. The little two ball always gets me. Yeah, so I always get so excited when we find the two balls. I think this one's a knockoff, actually. No, yeah. it's hidden. See, look, it's so little you can't even see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. Two ball J. <laughs> we find those like quite often and yeah. I always get excited, but... Uh, I don't, it just looks cute. Yeah. All right, we'll let you know what we end up getting. Well, I thought we had a pretty good deal there. We got them down to about $100, but then I noticed there was a dent on the driver, so it wouldn't have done any good anyway. So we'll meet you in the next spot. Worth a try, though. I got worried for a second because usually that whole section is full of golf clubs, yeah. but they moved them over here to the uh, end cap. Let's see if they got anything new for us over here. Got another set of these uh, Hogan Forge Eds. They were $99 at the uh, last place, but there was missing a foreign. They had a bunch of rockware. I don't know if I uh, mentioned that. Probably got a bunch of fellow Hogan enthusiasts being like, why didn't you get that? Yeah. That was like a ladies burner. Mm -hmm. How much is that? 90. 90 bucks. Whoa. Yeah. That's like, you know That's when they impressive. show the uh, um, the tracker, the uh, shot tracer yes. at 17 <laughs> at the uh, TPC at Sawgrass? It looks like that. It's like all different. Uh, yeah. Every variety. Not the most consistent of a uh, contact for sure. Old Odyssey Dual Force number two. Kenny Perry used that for a long time. We got a. Uh, Wilson FG Tour V6. Those are really good. If that was a full set, I'd definitely pick them up. Wouldn't really care about the price on those ones. Six Eight iron hybrid two. going for 80. Whew. That's a little high. Mm -hmm. Got a couple of Ping Tour Gorge uh, wedges over here. A 58 and a 54. Oh, that's the answer. Never actually tried the uh, answer wedges. I've hit their irons and they're super nice. One of the only uh, forged offerings for uh, Ping for a long time. Mm -hmm. So might try and get that one just for uh, fun. Let's get a sticks putter. It's not the greenie. Ashley likes the greenie. That's <laughs> one of the weirder finds. You're just super excited about it. $49 for Adams. Got a left handed Adams over here. Oh, this Maxfly bag is sick. Wow, that that is thing really is cool. really cool. How much is that? Is this whole bag? Yeah, I don't know. Golf clubs, bags, Ben Hogan Edge with Mizuna. What Mizuna do we got going on in here? Yeah. Switches, right? Apparently, there's a guy locally who just like comes through and just like switches all the clubs all around, and it's just like impossible to. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to that guy. <laughs> Seventy nine dollars on the R eleven. I think there was an SLDR over around the corner. Yeah, by the skateboards. Oh. Whoa. That's gonna stay there for a second. Ninety nine dollars on the SLDR. Oh. What shaft is this? OZ white tie. Yeah, we'll see what we can do on the uh, ping. But uh, if we find anything else, we'll let you know. If not, stay tuned for a, a negotiation. <laughs> yes. How's it going? Yeah. Do you know if you'd be able to do 20 on this guy? Let me check for you. Okay. I can do like 35 no tax on it. 35 out the door? Yeah. Uh, 
Sure, we can do that. Okay. Cool. All right, ended up picking up the ping answer for $35 out the door, so that means uh, no tax on it. It's a uh, pretty good deal, just more interested in hitting this, and if I like it, I might go in the bag. If not, we'll see it up on our eBay page. We'll meet you to the next spot. Oh, we got some nice clubs back there. Odyssey White Hot Pro, got some Callaway Rogues. Oh, reach across, get yelled at. Oh, what do you got? 429 on there. If those are all rogues. It's actually a pretty good deal. Yeah, that's a, um, those are the shafts that come with the rogues. Callaway bag. This might be one of our better finds ever. Yeah, yeah we'll have to check that one out. How's it going? Uh, it's yours. Free? What's up? Is it free? What? Is it free? <laughs> People disrespecting me here. <laughs> Help me out. No. What's the best you can do on that? Let me see. Okay. Let me put it away. Cool. They are rogues. Oh, that's a rogue X. This is like mid condition. Oh my goodness. It's like a mirror. Yeah. We just found that rogue five wood, and they're still going for pretty good money. They're like going more than the uh, driver goes for. What are you thinking? I do a triple tax. Three hundred plus tax. Yes. Um, Check that putter yeah. really quick. The grip's good. Yeah, Make sure they're all there. Five, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. I really want to make a counter offer, but that's a good deal. <laughs> I, I I never. They don't they don't sell too much here. Yeah. So I only get you know good sets. Yeah. Because otherwise they still they'll be over here forever. Yeah. yeah. So 300 is your best? Yeah, it's tax, of course. Plus tax or with tax? No, no, plus tax. Can you do 300 out the door? 319. Can you do 300 out the door? Give me 10 bucks, 310. All right, there we go. Now, now we okay. both feel like we won. We're gonna have to do a Google review though. We will. Okay. All right, folks, another fun day of pawn shops. We started off a little bit slow. Yeah. And it was definitely a uh, quality over quantity day. So very excited about that. And they even go for more money than I thought. Mm -hmm. and that guy gave us a yeah, crazy deal there, yeah. $300. You still felt the urge to haggle though. Yeah, at first mm -hmm. I thought it was $300 out the door, yeah. even though I watched it back and I said 300 yeah, it's all plus good. tax. But still a uh, good deal. We did leave a uh, Google review, so we mm -hmm. didn't lie about that. Yeah. But uh, definitely some good stuff. Let's uh, take a look at everything that we got. We just got done trying it out at the uh, driving range. Mm -hmm. We'll throw up some uh, shot tracers and some eBay comps, see if we got any good deals. But we as definitely did. We definitely did. Let's take a look at them. All right, first up, we got the uh, ping answer wedge over here. And it was kind of disorienting, to be uh, honest with you, because you look at it and look over it. It looks like a uh, normal ping iron, and you're used to like the uh, harsher feel. The cast, what, yeah. Yeah, the cast, which I usually actually prefer. But the uh, forge one, that felt like uh, butter. And it actually had some pretty good spin, even with a uh, range ball. So definitely uh, one to look out for. And if you find a uh, full set of those irons, they definitely go for a premium. Because like I said before, they're actually one of the only uh, ping forged offerings for a, a long time to mm -hmm. come out with that few since then but those are ones to uh, look out for and then basically the only other things that we got was that one deal at the uh, last pawn shop which is a uh, sweet i thought this was a callaway bag but it's actually not and it's still kind of crazy that it came with all of the uh, head covers and the head covers are still yeah. in good condition which is kind of rare for florida and even more rare is the uh, clubs are actually in pretty good condition especially the uh, three hybrid this thing is uh, really nice and i usually don't like hit the uh, uh, lower lofted hybrids very well mm -hmm. but hit that one uh, really good and then i also hit the three wood good which is shocking yeah my golf game's going downhill because usually i have a pretty good ball striker but i can't hit a three wood today i hit the uh, three wood good but Opposite game. neither of us could hit the uh, the no, driver and then we realized it was in the draw mode <laughs> yeah it was in the uh, draw mode and uh yeah it took me like 10 swings to uh, get it uh, up in the air and yeah. uh, not hooking We'll show you a couple of uh, shot trays. <laughs> also, Ashley uh, missed a putt, so I don't hit every single shot good. We usually take like the better ones because they're easier for the shot tracer to go. So mm -hmm. everybody always like, you hit the ball dead straight. So, well, that's the easiest one to shot trace. Yeah, so that's exactly. the way that we use. But we'll show you a few ones that I didn't hit good with that. And a uh, missed putt. But the uh, White Hot Pro number nine, this is one that you definitely want to look out for. Mm -hmm. The White Hot Pros in general, uh, definitely. Nice, yeah. yeah, they're super nice. But the uh, number nine series and then the actual blade series, they're similar to the ones that uh, Phil Mickelson used. Mm -hmm. So they have a little bit more of a market to it. And especially if you find them in uh, left-handed, and then also the uh, Callaway X Series irons. They kind of look like the uh, Razor X ones, which we have hit before and yeah. didn't really like, but you These crushed it. really easy to hit. They didn't like twist in my hand and yeah. I have to hit them straight, which is rare for me. Yeah, so. you've been working with the fade. You were hitting mm -hmm. the fade even with the uh, draw driver, but <laughs> uh, yeah, you killed those uh, irons. But uh -huh. uh, overall, a fun day. Also, the bag had uh, some tees in there. Probably, I thought it was a Cali bag, like I said, but yeah, it, it did usually, look like it. Yeah, yeah, it's like a nicer cart bag. It probably goes for like seventy-five dollars, something like that. But uh, definitely a uh, fun day. Persistence paid off. Yeah, 
persistence paid off. We probably went to like eight pawn shops, but we only showed you like, uh, yeah, we only showed you like three or four of them. But uh, definitely a uh, fun day. Hopefully you guys did like this video. Masters week, we're super excited about that. Let us know in the comments who you got uh, winning. Mm -hmm. Who you got winning? Hideki, I think he's gonna do it again. Ashley is a Hideki girl really lately. Yeah, so uh, I have no idea who I'm gonna pick. Maybe Cameron Smith. Yeah, it could be. It's a putter's course and he's been on yes, fire. One of the best putters in the uh, world. So hope you guys did like this video. If you did like, and subscribe and yeah, we'll see, you next, see you next time guys. Thanks for watching. Also, let us know what this thing is. Obviously it like drops grain or something like that. Also that it, stuff right there smells really bad. That's because I think it's a fertilizer. Fertilizer? Yeah, not grain, fertilizer. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's all I got. Now you know. Also, the return of the uh, the Milwaukee hat. Yes, it's been like two years. We lost it in the move. The yeah, last move, but now we found it. That's enough <laughs> for us. Hope. hope you guys did like this video, like, and subscribe, and see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.